yes, I got new goats. And one is a doe and she's in milk. The first thing that I've been doing in the mornings is milking. So I get up and I don't have any specific milking equipment. <laughs> like, uh, I don't have a milk pail or anything like that. So I just grab a couple of jars. I fill one with soapy water and I put uh, some thick paper towels in a clean jar, put a lid on it, take it out there and separate them, which I actually don't have like a separate stall for milking, so I have to get Nova to come out and leave the girls inside, which I give them grain in the morning, so I think she's kind of getting the hang of like, okay, yeah, I eat my grain on the milking stand and they eat their grain in the house. <laughs> So this has been an adventure this week because I never milked anything before and I love it. It's so much fun and with her I got a little buckling. Uh, the buckling isn't her kid um, and he still takes a bottle once in the morning so that's really fun too. He's old enough to be weaned but we wanted him to get used to being around me and enjoy being around me and know who I am, you know. The doe that I milk in the morning, her name is Nova, and then the little buckling is Beelzebubby, and we call him Bubby. They're both super sweet, like the nicest goats. I thought that I would have an issue with my girls picking on Nova, but actually it looks like she's gonna be the alpha goat because they listen to her pretty well and I don't know if that's because she's older they all came from the same farm so maybe they remember her I don't know but they get along pretty well at first they were picking on the little tiny buckling but now everybody seems to be getting along which is great so I let her out Feed the girls, lock them up, get her on the milking stand, wash her really good, milk into a jar. and then clean everything up. Take it inside and strain the milk. And then immediately put it into the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour, depending on if I forget to cool it down as fast as possible because they say if you let it sit out that it gets like a goaty flavor. So I've had them for like two and a half, three days and I've gotten two and a half quarts of milk just from Nova and so I haven't tasted it yet. I'm still in my head about it but I'm going to make cheese today. We're going to try to make some cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese I don't have any rennet, because I would love to make mozzarella, but I don't have any rennet, so I guess we're going to do something like either a ricotta or just like a normal goat cheese. So after I get done with the goats, then I go and I let the chickens out, which some days involves moving the fence, the electric fence, and the coop. Thank you. 
and making sure that they have food and water. This morning they had plenty of food and water so I didn't have to feed or water them. Then I come over here and I take care of the geese and the chickens over here. inside which you're about to see and I will get Bubby his bottle take it out there and feed him his bottle and I'll probably only do that for a few more days until I run out of the milk the goat's milk that uh, Amber sent with me to feed them And then I'll check on the bunnies, make sure that they got food and water. And that's pretty much it other than feeding the four-legged furry friends in the house and outside. After I get the animal chores done, I'll usually spend some time in the garden, depending on whether or not it's raining or I have other things that I need to get done that day. But I think as long as it's just barely sprinkling like it is today, I might go out there and I have to plant some squash. And yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. on the geese. This is Lemon. And that's Peanut. That's Coco. And they're huge, but they're still sweet. Lemon likes to give me hugs. Come here. But they don't seem to be getting along with the new chicks that I put in here. They're inside of a brooder. And even though they've slept in the same house for the last few weeks, the geese still don't like them. They don't mind the chickens that they grew up, that they were brooded with, but they don't like the new ones. So I think I'm gonna have to move the new ones in with my other chickens, which is also gonna be a there's gonna be a pecking order that's gonna have to get established over there too. This one right here is Tweety Bird, Dolly, Taz, and then, <clears throat> you know, I bought Pullets, but turns out that that one is definitely not a female. So that one was Reba, and Reba is a rooster. So say hi, Reba. Reba the rooster.